Hey Jordan, welcome to the stream buddy. Hope you're having a good day and staying safe. Jeez man, always a, you're always the first one in here. Yeah, everything is good. Yeah, good to hear. Uh, yes. <clears throat> Jeez, excuse me. Yes, everything's good, buddy. We're all staying safe here, man. I'm a big fan. What can I say? Thanks very much. Thanks very much. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate you taking time out your day to watch me. There's a few people in now. I I need to I need to forward the time since my, my net was full. <clears throat> hey well you're welcome buddy. Welcome to the stream. I hope you as well are having a good day and I hope you're staying safe, buddy. Let's see where we are. I've managed to kind of... I'm at level 34 now and the short of 200k. I've been fishing on and off. Yeah. The, this Windows version. I managed to get myself a, a Thora and another, another boss jig. So it's it's opened up this other spot for me now because I can I can throw the the bass egg far enough now. Yeah, so we're we're at infinity tunnels here. We'll start off here. We'll see how it goes, guys. It's still a still a twenty pound setup though. I can't see me get away from it just now and really guys until I get to about level 41 or something. As I said, I'm, I'm not going to spend any premium account on this or, or any DLCs. I'm just going to do it purely by by grinding through the through the game. And I managed to get myself a, a bigger keep net as well. So instead of making about 14k here, we're making about 19k, which is which is pretty good. Williams asking, how is everyone? We're all good, buddy. We're all good. I was just wondering about the call of our stream. I was super looking forward to it. I, I could do that tomorrow night, man. I could do a, a call of the wild stream tomorrow night. I know you've just recently bought the game. I hope you're getting on okay with it. Hey Cody, welcome buddy. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day and staying safe. It looks like we're into a, a fat boy already. Yeah Jordan, I could do Call of the Wild tomorrow night buddy.
At least you know you deserve it when grinding. Yes, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's. I mean, I've been, I've been, been doing a couple of hours sort of every day just to. I have, must admit, I have been tempted once or twice to. To buy some, uh, to buy some premium or a DLC, but I thought no, you know, I've got, I've got my main account on. I've got my main account on on Steam. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna spend any money, any money on here. Back unis, maybe it's been a while since I've done that. No, it's coming in too easy to be a uni, way too easy. Oh, maybe not. No, I think it's just a big trophy. I mean, geez, putting up a bit of a putting up a bit of a fight now. Thanks, William. Thanks, Jordan. <clears throat> these are these are both twenty pound setups, guys. Both rocking twenty pound braid. Could be back to back. Well, it's been a while since I've had back to back unis. Is he a uni? Oh, he is as well. Holy bat smoke. Okay, right, I'll take that. <laughs> Jeez, I'll take that, guys. Nice back to back, thanks, William. See, with with the with the new uh, bite system now, you don't you don't uh, you don't need to fish at night for the unis now. In fact, here you could just about get them get them any time of day. Jordan says, since I'm stuck at home, I've been playing Call of Duty for five to six hours a day. Wow, I never knew how good the, the game was. I'm glad you're enjoying it, buddy. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Jordan. It is it is a good game. That's that's quite a that's quite a steep learning curve to it though. You know, it can be a bit of grindy as well until you start you know, until you start getting your, your gear, your spotting gear and your perks and your uh Oh jeez, I'm trying to think of the other word now. You know, to to make yourself a bit more quieter and stuff, but it's it's very rewarding. It is very rewarding now. Nice Swiss go, thanks Jordan. Your skills. That's the word I was looking for. I've been I've been starting to watch uh, World of Warships, guys. I used to play World of Warships about eighteen months ago. In fact, that's how I first started my 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 channel was by putting videos up at World of Warships. Uh, I started watching them again this week, and it's it's given me the itch to to play World of Warships again. So that's a nice trophy. I might see. Uh, you might see either some videos or or some live streams of me playing World of Warships. I mean, I was I was never very good at the game, but I did enjoy it. 
In fact, I did, I did think about uh, playing some tonight, but I'd need to download the latest client, and that takes a bit, and then I'd need to set it up and do a bit of testing and stuff, so maybe in the next couple of weeks, we'll maybe see me playing a bit of World of Warships. But I could, I could certainly do a, a call of the wild tomorrow night, guys. Well, I'm saying, yeah, I just completed Uncharted 4 free from PS Plus. Nice one, buddy. Nice one. John says I downloaded it, well, I haven't played it yet. I have watched a full playthrough though, okay. A few times on YouTube. So oh, I just haven't played, okay. I've never heard of it, guys. Uncharted 4. But there, there is a lot of stuff on Steam and, and out of Steam just now that are That are on sale just now, and a lot of free to play, to play games as well, guys. So fill your boots, really fill your boots. I mean, the Hunter Call of the Wild is is a uh, is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and also all the DLCs are are really cheap as well. So hopefully, hopefully, guys, he will get something out there that'll that'll rock your boat and and help you through this uh, these crazy times that we're having at the moment. I knew that was coming off. I could tell there's, there's something about the Windows version. It's strange sometimes when you get a fish, you can't lift your rod up. Well, I'm saying, yeah, not too bad for free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if it's, if it's free, guys, you know what I mean? You can't beat free. This is a sunny day, so we'll try for the unique uh, peacock bass, guys, about... Well, I suppose we could try now, to be honest. We'll give these spots another couple of goes, and then we'll go try for the unique peacock bass. Yeah, there was there was an update. I think it was was it yesterday or today. I can't remember. An update for Fishing Planet on the on the Steam version because I checked to see what uh, what competitions there were. But the the largemouth bass competition been pushed back a week, guys. Which let me let me just check. Let me just check on here. On the uh, on the Windows version. Let's have a look. Tournaments. Yeah, registration is now the twenty first. Cause that was it the fourteenth last week or yesterday. So they've pushed it back a week. I wonder what the reason, the reason is for that. The 
they've not said. I've I've looked in the in the forums and nobody's really said anything about it. But I wonder why it's been pushed back a week. Because yesterday morning it was the fourteenth, and then last night it said the the twenty first. It's a bullfin. No, yeah, yeah, it's a bullfin. No one any bullfin. Thank you. There's no money to be made off the bullfin, guys. No money at all. They're just trash fish. And I was I was at St. Croix, I think it was last Saturday. Oh man, I think I fished a couple of hours on Sunday. And a couple of hours maybe Monday afternoon and oh man it is so they've 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 killed St. Croix guys, they really have. It has been it was so slow I gave up. But what we could do, we'll, we'll try, we'll try, uh, we'll try for the uh, the peak, the uni peacock boss next, and then later on for a bit of fun, we can always try for the uh, the snook or the uh, the red drum on this setup, which which will be fun. But Saint Croix for the for the Northern Pike was was pretty slow. It might be better once I get some bottom rods, but I'm not there yet, guys. I can buy bottom snipers just now, but I can't get a decent enough uh, uh, reel for them. That's where they've got you on, on Fishing Planet. You you could. You can you can buy the rod, but you can't buy the reel to, to match it. And this place isn't the best for grinding XP. It's good for cash, but not XP. Especially if you're using a, a twenty pound setup, which you, you pretty much need for the unis. Let me just check that I've got my buzz baits with me. I should have, yeah, have, yeah, that's good. Could try for the snook and the red drum. No, oh, hello. But it just it just wrecks my gear. But you know, I'm not I'm not fussy. One more Cassie and then we'll, we'll try for the uh, peacock. I've not got a tarpon yet either here. Not that I've tried to fish for them. I've just, just not got the kit.
Right, let's try. Let's try for the uni peacock. If there's trophies then I always say if there's a trophy then there's always unis lurking. I've not even got a float set up with me. I'm not really all that much organ. I do have a, a, a big alley with me. But I've got no shiners. I think the, the next ponds I'll probably do here, so I'll probably go fishing for trout, which I've not done yet. Back again. Oh, I don't think so. Let's try him again. Whoop, a bit too far. trophy yeah it seems to be it seems to be pretty busy here there's a lot of people catching fish which is it's always a thing in Florida I mean if, if you're wanting fish all day long guys you used to be able to well on before the new bite system certainly on steam anyway the only way you could get the the uni peacock bass was a sunny day between twelve and one. On a f on the on the X series frog popper. But they seem to have it seems to have f fixed that now in this the the new bite system or the It's only been a sunny day I've been able to catch it. Tried and tried on a, a partly cloudy day or a or a cloudy day and, and not had any not had any luck.
Yeah, I missed that one. I'll try again. It's normally a sunny day, but it's normally like after about 11 p.m. that I've been, I've been getting some luck on the uh, the unique peacock boss. That's, that's twice now. It's like, why, why did they just keep on following it? Why? They just don't take it. Keep trying though, guys. We'll keep trying. Eric, welcome, buddy. Welcome to the stream. I'm glad you make it. Hope you're having a good day. I hope you're staying safe, man. Hope you're staying safe. I mean, fishing with an eight pound set up there, you know, it's gonna take you. It's gonna take you a bit of. a bit of coaxing in. I'm sure I remember that right because I, I've got that set up on a on my Steam account. I'm sure that's only an eight pound. Yeah, it is. It is. It's only eight pound. Jeez, I'm sneezing. <clears throat> Eric Senko, I got Euro. Is that right, buddy? Your internet extender is supposed to help with your internet? No idea, buddy. I've got no idea. But if it, if it helps you, why not? It's all good. I don't know if that's like a, a wireless repeater or something, buddy. You maybe need to elaborate a little bit more what it is. 
But if it's if it's helping your internet, then that's that's all good in my book. William's asking which water is bed best for red reed reed mace. Sorry, buddy, I'm not sure what you're on about there, William. Oh, the mission. The mission for is it. Catching, catching weeds or something, or I'm not sure. Eric says I'm still, still stumped about Streamlabs after I put in capture. What next? Yeah, yeah. You you want game capture? That's what I use, buddy. I use game capture. Then you need to go to your settings and, and, and set everything up, buddy. There's, Eric, there's, to be honest, there's, I mean, I, I'll quite, I can't go through it, through it with you on, on I'm, I'm streaming just now, as you, as you know, but if you want to, if you want to uh, join my Discord, buddy, there's a link in the description below. I, I'll quite happily talk you through the, uh, Put you through Streamlabs, buddy, and, and how to get set up for uh, for streaming. But to be honest, man, there's plenty of of uh, videos on YouTube to tell you how to set up uh, up Streamlabs. But yeah, I mean, I'll be quite happy to You need you need to first have you yeah obviously you've got. You need to make sure that that you you're able to stream on YouTube, which you need to apply for. It normally takes a, a couple of days. Just check the box, go into your settings on YouTube, and go to allow uh, streaming. And it normally takes about twenty four hours to come through, and you'll get an email from YouTube saying that that's you. You, you can now. You can now stream on your channel. And then once you once you get Streamlabs, you need to link your YouTube channel into Streamlabs, buddy. And then once you've done that, then you should be you should be fine. You just set up your settings. As I say, there's plenty of there's plenty of videos out there, buddy. But your channel needs to be allowed to allowed to stream. You watch a lot of tutorial videos about it. Okay, so so your 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 channel itself, your YouTube channel, is is allowed to stream on YouTube and upload videos and stuff. But once you've got that sorted, as I said, you need to you need to link your you need to link OBS Streamlabs to your YouTube video, eh, to your YouTube channel. Okay, I'll, I'll check email. Okay, buddy. Yeah, you've got you've got to go into your YouTube channel and go into your settings in your YouTube channel, and I think it's. I can't remember what one it is off the top of my head. It might be my channel or community or something. And there's a tab in there, enable, enable live stream. You need to click that. 
and that allows your channel to, to live stream on YouTube. And as I said, once once you've you've clicked it, it normally takes about twenty four hours. Of what I can remember, anyway. I mean, it was it was a couple of years ago. Yeah, see, after eleven a.m. on a on a sunny day. I can always tell it's a unit, guys, with the, the bouncing bars. I'm not sure if it's a, a peak or oh, it's a peacock yet. Oh yeah, it's my that's a PB for me, guys. Nine pound. Well, wow. okay. Thank you, William. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what's happening to my voice tonight, guys. But yeah, that's... <clears throat> Jeez. Excuse me. That's a decent amount of XP. That's the only time you get decent XP because, because we're using this £20 set of it. Decent money as well. That's that's not bad. What we've been been fishing for just over over thirty minutes, and let's have a look. <clears throat> so so far we've got we've got we've got three units, which isn't bad. I mean, look at the the XP on the on the the butterfly peacock bass. That's pretty good. Yeah, these these are the two setups I'm using the the, the Thora, which is a basically a twenty pound setup in the Ling Glider twenty two. But when you when you when you rack it down to to seven out of eight on your on your drag, I think it's like nineteen point six five. And the the braid is is twenty pound braid. <clears throat> nice. <laughs> I think you need lubr lubricant. That's what I'm drinking, buddy. I'm drinking some lubricant now. <laughs> Maybe I need a bit more. Hold on, guys. <clears throat> there we go. Some more lubricant got. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, we're doing not bad. I mean, what, 17 fish so far, you know, six and a half thousand. As I said, I, I upgraded my net now to the £264 net, which is which is a, a bit better from the uh, the one I had before, which was just 100, just 100, just under £200. So it's it's about another six hundred, about another six thousand uh, bucks in the game. So we're 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 doing all right basically. But this combination between the the uh, the boss jig and the and the nymph guys, it's pretty good. If you don't know how to get the uh, the X series nymph, which well, when I bring the rod in, I'll I'll show you my setup again. And I'm using it on both setups. The only reason I got the Thora was was to 
to be able to cast the, the distance here needed for the infinity tunnel spot. I'll, I'll show you what uh, what you need to do to get the the X series nymph. So if you go to up here, which is your main, and then go to your challenges, and it's here somewhere. It's this one, Captain Roar, guys. So basically, you've got to. You've got to row an X amount of distance and, you, and it's got to be a kayak. You can't use your motor boats or anything. But you've got to use, you've got to use your, uh, your kayak. And, and I think, I think roughly what, what I did was I, I put a, a weight down on my keyboard and all I did was row and I think it was round, I can't remember what lake it was, I just put him in a circle, went away and left him, came back an hour and a half later and he had done it basically, so it's about an hour and a half IRL time to, to do your captain roar and that gives you the, uh, if I show you the setup, it gives you the, the X series nymph. And and that is pretty much worth its weight in gold, guys. It really is. I think also if you do the, the perch competition. Perch. The is it the yellow yellow perch at uh, Emerald Lake? If you get place one, two or three, you also get the nymphs as well. So that's another way to, to get them. But you can do it through the, the Captain Roar uh, achievement. Gareth, welcome buddy. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day and staying safe, man. Eric says I have a web page for achievements to get X series lurks. Yes, buddy. Yep. Yep. Let's get you to the 500. I think I'm there, buddy. I think I'm all, already at 500 or not unless somebody's left. DK, welcome, buddy. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good day, DK. I hope you're staying safe, guys. You too, Gareth. I hope you are all staying safe. Again, the first time I went out to today was uh, <laughs> down to the local shop for some for some beer. I've not been out in a week, so I've been out twice in the last month. Yeah, decent trophy though. I've got 136 pound uni tarp on using buzz baits for the X series nymph. Nice, Eric. Yeah, yeah. I caught a 140 pound tarp on. With my, my, my little 40 pound cart box or something. It was on a shiner as well, buddy. Off the dock where you spawn in. But yeah, that's, that's, that's a nice fish, Eric. That is a nice fish, buddy. Yeah, the buzz bait. I'll show you the buzz bait just shortly, guys. The buzz bait works. Works nuts here as well. It really does. We'll, we'll go try for some uh, some common snook and, and even even a red drum go for the buzz bait. Gareth says, any ideas when the fisherman is getting all the fish and planet goodies? Gareth, all they said 
was it was going to be springtime, buddy. If you go, if you go uh, online, well, not online, but if you go to the internet and go to Steam and go to Fishing Planet, there's a there's a, a bit of blurb in there, and it just said it was it was coming. It was coming at springtime, so hopefully soon, buddy. Hopefully soon. It'd be good. It'd be good to get back to the to the fisherman, but no, nobody's playing it except the competitions. You know, I fired it up this week as well, just to have a look around, just to see who, what, and everywhere I went in Gareth, there was nobody fishing again. The only people that are fishing it are fishing the competitions. Which are the, the sweaty tryhards to be honest. We need something to keep us going. Yes, definitely. Yeah, but uh, they say it is coming. That's why I'm playing a Windows version of Fishing Planet. Just something different. And I'm sure Fishing Planet will say that too, Cove. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they will. I mean, I, this, this, I didn't think this game was cross-platform, but it is, guys. This Windows version of Fishing Planet, the Xbox clan can play this the, with, with PC, because I was speaking to a guy, is it Monday or Tuesday, we were chatting away, and he says, oh, I'm on Xbox. I was like, what? And he said, yep, I'm on Xbox. I was like, holy butt smoke. So it can't be cross-platform, guys, but only this Windows version. DK says, I cry today. Oh, no, man. What's up, DK? How's the weather? Cool, well, that's not too bad at the minute. Yes, Gareth, it's... It's, it's getting warmer, buddy. It is getting warmer. But it's it's not as nice yet. It was pretty much overcast today, but the last couple of days the sun was shining. But it's, it's certainly warming up, buddy. It's certainly getting better. And it says that 136 pound, I was a fighter. I took my line out to 300 feet. I had 700 feet on his pool. Well, lucky for you, buddy, because, yeah, I've been... I've been I've been spilled at Blue Crab before. Where it just took my line and off it went. Oh, he's a bit of a fight. You can always tell with the belly on these guys if they're trophies or not. Well, let me catch up on chat here for a minute. Four more I've decided to call it off. Okay, DK, yeah, I'm with you, man. Yeah, it's 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 gonna get it's it's not gonna get any better, guys. And you know, not at the moment. But I'm glad you're safe, though, Gareth. I'm glad you're safe, buddy. Was watching Sky News saying the world is on a, a detox with low pollution parts of the world. They can see that I've never been seen in years. Yeah, probably, Gareth. Yeah, yeah, probably, man. It's it's pretty much you know the shit's hit the fan, guys. To be honest, you know, you know. As I said, I went I went down to my my local store today just to just to, just to get some beer for tonight, you know. 
and it's like the, the, the shelves are still pretty much empty, you know what I mean? There's, there's plenty of booze, fucking hell, you know? Which is really weird that there's, there's so much booze in the shops, yet there's, there's so little stuff like rice and pasta and, and fresh, fresh food, you know? I mean, there was plenty of milk and plenty of tinned stuff and that, but... Gotta say, it's in a way, Cove, it's not, it's not do the world any harm pollution. Well, yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty bad though, man, you know what I mean? So many people are, are dying from this, you know. Oh, there's a turtle. Hello, turtle. <laughs> it's such a, it's such a shame. Good to see Boris out of the, uh, I mean, I'm not a political person and, and I don't really want to, want to discuss politics in any shape or form on this channel. But I'm, I'm good to see that, uh, that things are looking up for him, and and I kind of think that's all I'll say on the on the matter. You know, I mean, it doesn't matter who it is. You know, I mean, if anybody makes a recovery from this this awful pandemic, then good on them. You know, Ryan Poking Poking Horn. Sorry, buddy, for for having a, a real butcher at your last name. Hey mate, wish you the very much. Thank you, thank you Ryan, thanks buddy. You too man, you too. Hope you're having a, a good day and staying safe guys. Stay safe, that's a thing. Protect the NHS, stay indoors man. Stay indoors guys. I mean, who the fuck wants to go out really at the end of the day when, when there's, when there's a pandemic going on, you know? I don't get it. I don't get why these people want to go to parks and want to go to the seaside and want to do this and what, I, I don't get it. I really don't. You know, I know it's Easter weekend here and stuff, but guys, come on, stay safe. Just. Stay safe. Spend spend time. I mean, I've never I've never spent so much time with my family in 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 a while. You know, all my kids are at home. I mean, they're all grown up now. You know what I mean? They're all they're all adults, and it's it's been it's been so good. It's it's been been so good spending so much time with with the family. Cherish it, guys. Cherish it. Right, we'll try a couple of more for this. There's got to be a, another unit here. It's mad, it is Gareth. It is. It really is, man. Well, see you the first man. Thanks for the advice on the other stream. I'm at level 49 now. You're welcome, Matthew. You're welcome, buddy. Anytime, man. Anytime, anytime, guys. Yeah, people are having parties over here. It was on the news this evening. Yeah, I know, William. It's, it's just fucking crazy, man. It really is, to be honest. You know, being you, guys, you you putting your life at risk. You know what I mean. You really are putting your life at risk if you're if you venture out for for anything, guys. For anything. We took Cove. We have a hot tub, bouncy castle up, and a barbecue was pretty fun. Well, that's it, buddy. That's it. That's it. Spend time with your family, guys. How how many people? You know, in, in their daily routine, how many hours or their weekly routine in normal life spend? Spend a lot of time all together, all your family. Now's your chance, guys. Now is your chance, so do it. Do it. Tommy, welcome, buddy. Welcome. Thanks for joining, buddy.
DK said it saved a couple of people's marriages. I'm sure it has, DK. I'm sure it has, buddy. You know, that was what me and my wife were speaking about tonight. We were, we were sitting down eating our dinner and the whole fam, family was, was was sitting around the table, you know. It was like, holy shit, how many times have we done this in the last 10 years, you know? Because it, it, it's, it's been like every night for the last for the last month, guys, you know? And it's been really good. So that this, I think this... From a negative, guys, there's always something positive to come out of it. And to spend time with your family is the best gift that could ever be gifted to you, you know? So just just enjoy your time with your family, guys. And, and this will all blow over, I'm sure, soon enough. But everybody, guys, everybody. Stay safe. Like Christmas Cove, yeah, it is gone. It basically, it, it, it's like holidays, but the thing is, some people are, are treating it like holidays, you know? And having bouncy castle parties, and oh, I've read all sorts in the news, man. It's just. It's just stupid, to be honest, you know? It makes, it makes you laugh at things, you know what I mean? But hey ho, that's what makes us all different, guys. I mean, if if the whole world was like me, it would be such a fucking boring place. You know what I mean? But come on, a, a little, a little tiny bit of common sense sometimes, guys. A little unit, but we'll take it. He's another unit. Yeah, DK heard that in the news. Yeah, definitely. God, I've been sneaking out in his trampoline. <laughs> I'm sure he has been. I'm sure he has been. He's not going to say anything about it, but I'm sure God has been. Been doing a bit of bouncy bouncy on the old trampoline. <laughs> Thanks, William. Thanks, buddy. I mean, as, as you can see, guys, you don't need to fish at night now for the unis. Holy bot smoke. It's one, two, three, four. Yeah, you know, that's that's decent. No trampoline yet. Got the bounce of castle up. Boy, it's so, it's so on electric, though. <laughs> Oh dear. But Gareth, buddy, as as long as you're having fun, it, it doesn't it 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 doesn't it doesn't really matter what it costs, buddy. You know what I mean? If you and your your family are spending time and having fun, yeah, yeah. So what? This guy. Oh, oh no, he's he's awake. You know what I mean? A, a couple of a couple of bucks on the on on the uh, the old bouncy castle. I'm sure that's not going to burst the bank, buddy. Just enjoy it. That's it. The kids love it. Oh, there you go, buddy. There you go. I mean, what's more satisfying to seeing your kids smiling, you know what I mean? I mean, as I say, my, my kids are, are all grown up now, you know, and... I mean, I, I remember the days, you know, my kids... Bouncing around the garden like, like lunatics, you know? You know, it'd be like, come in, come in, you know, your your food's ready or whatever. They'd be like, oh no, dad, no, can we not just, can we not just stay out for a bit for a bit longer and you know oh, you couldn't you, you can't 
you can't deny your kids fun guys you know that's what it's all about being parents is it's your kids you know what i mean jesus your kids are your, your legacy at the end of the day you know And everybody loves their kids. Yeah, you can't put a price on happiness. You certainly can't, William. You certainly can't, buddy. I mean, you you know yourself, buddy. You've you've got you've got your kids. You've got your your grandkids as well. You know, what I mean, I not got any grandkids yet, but I'm I'm hoping deep down. I'm hoping, you know. Couple of years time maybe. But you know the kids are kids are the best thing that can ever be given to you guys, you know what I mean? Everybody loves our kids. Yeah, you're right, William. Of course, yeah. Right, how are we doing on our net? £136, right, let's... Right, we've, we've done we've done the boss, guys. We've, we've, we've kicked the ass at the boss tonight. Let's go, let's go fishy for something bigger. Well, see, they're missing my grandchildren so much, miss my hugs. Yeah, I, I can understand that, buddy. I certainly can understand that. It's, it's such a frust, it's such a frustrating time, guys. But all we need to do is, is show a bit of self restraint, and I'm sure. And I'm sure, you know, it'll it'll all blow over. You know what I mean? Right, let's go to the salty delta. Let's try a few of the biggies. Oh boy, here we go. Try a couple of more here, see if they're still sitting over here. Gotta say, is my children are too missing their grandparents? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean even my wife, being, uh, our, our dad's over in Spain at the moment, and she's missing him because he can't get home. You know, he's been over there for about three, three months now. And he can't get home, you know. Yeah, come out better, yeah, William. Yeah, not nice at all. No, it's not, you know. Oh, it's like, oh, my dad's fine. And... Okay, guys, here we go. Remember guys, I'm fishing on a twenty pound setup here, so
Yeah, it's it's not nice, but you know, we just gotta look, just gotta stay safe, guys. Stay safe, and we'll we'll all come out of this, you know. And we'll be thankful, you know. It's it's unprecedented in our time, you know. What I mean, this is a unit, guys. If I could keep up on. I'm sure this is a uni. You're going to work for this fish cove. Yes, I am, buddy. I am. This is this is a big boy. I can I can tell the way that things are bouncing. I'm not saying I'm going to land them, but yeah, I'm certainly going to work for this fish. That's for sure, Gareth. I'm sure he's a uni. I'm sure he's he's 30, 30 plus pounds. No, he's off. No, he's a uni, that's for sure. Don't break your sheet, Lol. Yeah, you're right, William. No, oh, KP Shimino, fuck my life. <laughs> check, check. <laughs> Conkov, don't lose him. Yeah, he's a big boy, oh, that's for sure. I'll tell you that, that bus bait, guys, is... Don't break it, sell it, says <laughs> DK. <laughs> so true, buddy, so true. No, it's not, DK. Don't... Don't sell anything, buddy. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, he's coming in. I'm sure he's a uni. Mind you, could be a could be a big trophy, but I'm sure he's a uni. I can't believe we've got him this close in after I'm being what two hundred feet out near enough. Come on, come on, Cove, you can do this. Oh, we've got him! We've got him! Oh no, we can't lift him out of the water. There we go. He has a uni. 34.516. Wow. Oh, so there you go, guys. On a £20 setup, you two can. You two can land a uni. <laughs> nice go. Thanks, William. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, we'll keep that fella. Just, just to show you that I'm not. There you go. That's the setup I'm using. In the, there was twenty three pound. 
Councillor's 21, but the, the, the bread is only 20. It's not bad going. Thanks, DK. Thanks, buddy. Right, let's try for the red drum now. I try for the red drum. They're normally sitting. Normally sitting over this way, guys. There's no, there's no uni red drum here. There's only a, a trophy red drum here. But yeah, that was, that was, uh, it's quite challenging. Let's see if we can tempt a, a red drum. Tempted something anyway. No, oh, so I think it's another. Oh no, it's a red drum. I think. No, it's a snook. I think. Getting too excited here now. Yeah, it's a snook. It's a little fella. DK says, think cleaning shop out tomorrow, getting started on that list she's been adding to. Yeah, buddy, it's probably, it's brownie points. It is brownie points, buddy. Thanks, Eric. Thanks, buddy. Let's see if we can get a red drum. Okay, something's off. Yeah, see, I've, I've been getting loads of brownie points, guys. Been doing all the jobs around the house, fixing all the bits and pieces that were in fixed, doing a bit of painting here and there. But as I said, there's always good out of something bad, but just, just stay safe, man. That's, that's the main message. I'll tell you what guys, this little 20 pound, it's not a little 20 pound, but this 20 pound setup is, is pretty versatile here in, in the Everglades. It's not a unit, I don't think. No, it's not a unit. But it's certainly decent enough. I can't see what it is yet. It's wrecking my gear, I know that much. I think it's a snook. No, oh, it's got a notification that I'm live on YouTube. Trophy though, I think. Oh no, 
it's the common. Wow. Okay. Keep that. Fly high, Ireland. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Oh, right. It's your drone channel. Okay, buddy. Welcome, welcome, man. Again, poor rod. Poor rod's getting bashed tonight. <laughs> This is another uni guys. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's I think it's probably a snook. Just the way things are bouncing around. I tell you this buzz bait is, is is nuts guys. It is just a bit nuts everywhere you use it. Yeah, I think I seen the head come out of the water there. It looks like a snook, yeah. Yeah, this is bigger than the last one, guys. I didn't know you had a, a drone channel, buddy. I'll need, to, I'll need to check that out. But welcome back anyway, man. Welcome back. He's a big fella. He's a big fella. I just seen him breach out of the water there. I was like, yeah, that's a big snook. Poor Rod and Rail's taking a fair bash in here. Oh, he's coming in. I think he said he's chilling out there. Oh, nice one, buddy.
No, no, it's fuck out again. Oh, he's a big fella. No, he's not ready yet to come in with the looks of it. Oh, it's a drum. It is a drum, guys. So we did get... No! Oh no! Come on! Game! <laughs> oh man! No! Yes, William, yep. That was that was a big drum. Well, only one thing left to do is let's try for another one, guys. Well, that was a, that was a pity because he was a he was a fatty he was a fat drum. Come on, fishing on company. Welcome, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day and staying safe, man. Oh, I'm so disappointed he got off, man. He was certainly a... Probably the biggest drum that I've, I've caught so far on this account. But if there's one, guys, I'm sure there's another one. It's not company says I haven't got some subscribers, that's a pity. Yeah, sure man, yeah. If you put content out there and if it's good enough content out there, buddy, I'm sure people will, uh, will subscribe to you. God, we fought him for so long as well. Yes. Hi, Dollar Man. Welcome, buddy. Okay, here we go again, guys. Dollar, hey, I mate, go about on chat. Just finished grinding for it. Seventy six level five hundred one now. Holy shit, hang dollar. But welcome, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Machine and company says, "Can you speak Italian?" Nobody, no English only. English only in chat, but. But yeah, Heimdallar, welcome buddy, welcome. Been a while, good to see you, good to see you man. He's <laughs> still playing Fallout. F 
501, man, Jesus. Yeah, this is another good fish, guys. Let's hope we don't lose this one. Thanks, mate. Yeah, you're welcome, Hind Dollar. You're always welcome here, buddy. I'm glad you're still enjoying playing your Fallout, bud. That's been, jeez, that's been a while you've been grinding that game now. Are you, are you still dipping your, your toes into Fishing Planet? Are you, are you still the wealthiest man on Fishing Planet, buddy? I'm sure you are. We are, we they are millions. Oh, it's a tarpon. It is a tarpon, wow. Not got a tarpon on this account yet. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we'll keep that fella. Right, let's get a snook, guys. Let's, let's see if we can... Let's see if we can get a, a snook. Uh, not a snook, a, a red drum. A red drum's the only fish we've not caught yet, or, or of the big three. We've got a snook, we've got a uni snook, we've got a tarpon. Let's see if we can get a drum. You going, yeah, you're still going on your fishing planet to chill out, nice one, buddy. Kudos to you, man. Always, it's always good to have a, a chill out game when you're when you're finished doing your heavy grinding, buddy, or playing your main game. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Good to see everybody again. I know I need to get. I thought next week I was going to be, have a, a big stream week, but with them pushing back the largemouth boss competition for a week, so it's going to be it's going to be the week after this, guys. Um, I'm going to have a big stream week because I've got three platforms now. I've got okay. I've got my Steam account, which is my main account, guys, which is Fishing Planet. And then I've got the Windows version now on Fishing Planet. And then I've got the Fisherman. So I've got three platforms that I'll be trying to fit in. The monthly competition, which is the large amount of boss competition, guys. So sign up for it on the on the 20, I think it's the 24th now. Is it the 24th? 22nd?
Eric says I'm close to level 55. Nice one, buddy. Nice one. That, that kind of opens up everything to you, man. Not that, not that there's much left to open up after 54, bud. But yeah, it's always good to, to be max level. It's going to take me a while to get to max level in this account, that's for sure, guys. Whether I ever do it or not, you know, that's another thing. Eric, yes, the the uh, the Amazon River's coming, buddy. That's the next place it's it's going to open up to Fishing Planet. When I don't know, so so don't ask me, bud. But yeah, that's the next one. I don't even think they've started testing it yet. But I know they're working on it, buddy. I know they're working on it. And the, the, the Mississippi update for the fishermen is coming soon as well, guys. How soon, I don't know. My, well, my, my twos, my twos. Hiya, welcome, welcome, my twos. Welcome to the stream. Sorry if I mispronounce your name. Right, come on, let's, let's get a red drum. Let's catch a red drum and I'll be happy. I think we've got pretty much all the big ones so far. Yeah, it's been a bit of fun. We're pretty much killing this little rod in real guys. Another red drum set about here somewhere. Dakota, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for dropping by. I hope you've had a good day and I hope you're staying safe. My dude's asking what maps. Don't know what you mean, buddy. You need to elaborate a, bit, a little bit more. I'm fishing in uh, Florida at the moment, killing my gear. More than fishing would be cool. Yes, it would be Eric. I don't know yet if they've, if they've got marlin on the on the Amazon. To be honest, buddy, I don't think they do. Not unless there's like a delta for them or something. Tell you what, let's let's try something else for the red drum. Let's try a bit of mud water for them. No, there's something. Because you can't use this this uh, this lure as mud water as well.
Marlin fishing would definitely be cool to this game. Any any big saltwater fish would be would be a, a good addition to the game. It's just a stop and go. Okay, be a red drum. Oh, I think we might be, guys. I think we might be. Fingers crossed. <laughs> don't lose this one, Cole. Don't, don't, don't lose this one. Eric says, yeah, it would be cool. Fishing on company said, what do you think? Italian people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Italian people, yeah. It is a red drum as well. Don't lose that cove. Don't lose this one. It's off. Or or what it, what do you think Italian Yeah, yeah, nothing wrong with Italian people, man. Everybody's welcome here. Everybody's welcome on Cove Stream. Everybody's equal, man. Everybody's equal. But yeah, welcome, man. Welcome. Just chill. Just chill. Be cool. Poor Rod's getting battered again. It's this last, <laughs> it's this last year's best, that fishing and company. <laughs> yeah, no worries, hang dollar, buddy. Yeah, be a trophy at least. Be a trophy, red drum. Come on, you know, come on, he's so close. Nah, he's not for coming in yet, guys. Oh, we've got him, we've got him. <laughs> oh man, that'll do nicely. That will do nicely. In Italy, we are not happy at the moment. Yeah, I can understand, buddy. I can understand. Yeah, nobody's happy at the moment, bud. Yeah, but stay safe, man. Stay safe. I'm happy with that. A 32 pound red drum. I think we lost the last one. I think it's just probably slightly bigger, but we'll keep that. That was pretty good. Well, that's that's a pretty good showing, guys. Uh, what fish are here on 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 Florida with a with a 20 pound setup? I said I'll I'll show you my setup again, which is the uh, the Bass Caster seven foot three. Councillor C1000S, which is such a good reel. Did take a bit of a hammer in there. The braid. Yeah, the braid took a bit of a hammer. £20, 
Buzzbait. X series names. Come on. That was good fun. That was good fun. Nice one, mate. Thank you. In your country, what is the situation? Fishing on company saying, yeah, pretty much the same as yours, but it's 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 locked down, you know, a lot of people die in. It's not it's not good. It's not good. Very similar to Italy. Very similar, buddy. But we'll get we'll get through this guys, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. What is your country? What does it say? My country is Scotland, buddy. I live in Scotland. Anyway, guys, I think that's that's going to be me. Let's have a look at my. Uh... No, not there. Fish keeper. That's what we wanted to show. So we, we fished for about an hour and an hour and forty three minutes tonight. So we had a unique common snook, which yeah, that was nice. Set of pounds set up. Trophy red drum with the tarp on. A couple of our snooks. Another unique. Another unique. Another unique. Another unique. Yeah, we, we covered everything, guys. Pretty much all the the big four, big five tonight. Now one, two, three, four. Yeah, the big five, really. A snook, red drum, tarpon, large mouth, and the, the peacock. I'm happy with that, guys. It, it, it's been it's been a good good night of fishing. So tomorrow's night stream will either be the hunter call of wild, or I might do that. No, it'll either be the hunter call of wild or world of warships because I'm I'm feeling like. Getting back into World of Warships again, guys. Anyway, thank you. Thank you so much for taking a bit of time out and spending your time with me. I really, really do appreciate it, guys. I really, really do. And thank you for the for the locals. Heimdallar, BK, Gareth, William. Jordan, Cody, thank you guys, thank you guys for taking some time out and watching me doing this. Guys, hit that like button, it really, really does help me, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well, it really does help. Until the next time, people, take care, good night. Till the next time.